Dan from Nero. We're at Wax Audio. This is for undergroundmusic.co.uk. Played here in this club before, actually, when it was Rhino before, and uh, yeah, really, really good crowd. It's like one of the, I really kind of like clubs like this, kind of like a sweat box, you know, and you're kind of right up in the action. It sounded awesome. It sounded really, really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really great, yeah. We're looking for a label to kind of do an album with, and uh, the Chaser States guys uh, got in touch. And uh, we just really, really liked what they were going to stand for with the label, and, and obviously, like, always been big fans of their stuff. So it just seemed um, the logical place for us to go and, 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 and work, and you know, and sign, you know, our album deal with. So it's, it's really, really, it's, we're really, really kind of excited about it. And the, you know, the, the label MTA is just really getting such a strong name right now. It's really one of the hottest labels out there. So it's, it's kind of, it's really exciting to be part of it. Actually, really, really cool. The album's um, mainly dubstep with uh, some drum and bass tracks, some house tracks. It's got quite a sort of uh, epic kind of sound in a very, quite sort of 80s influenced actually, with kind of real 80s synthesizer kind of stuff. Um, and sort of a bit different, a bit different from what we've ever done before in a way, because an album I think is the first time you can really express yourself as artists. So it's kind of what we've been wanting to do for a long time. And so sort of, sort of quite different from some of the stuff we've done before. Um, but uh, so Innocence was actually the first release from the album. And the second release is called Me and You, and that's coming out uh, in November. Um, and then the albums should be out in March. We did, uh, we did a few kind of really uh, Sort of uh, important releases for us. The first actual release we did called This Way, which still gets a great reaction. So um, that was a pretty special tune for us. And then I guess like we followed that up quite closely with the Streets remix of uh, Blinded by the Lights, and that that was a really strong tune for us. So I think it was just sort of uh, it was just sort of um, just putting out a series of tunes. We tried to keep stuff quite constant, so we're trying to keep the output sort of quite consistent, basically. We're, we're kind of focused on dubstep now, but obviously, you know, we still play in quite a bit of D&B in our sets, and um, and uh, there's like we're still, we've been playing quite a bit of house as well for the last sort of few months, um, and we're doing some house stuff on the album, so it's good to sort of start associating ourselves with house, which we've been writing for a long time, but never really sort of released. So this will be the first time we've really sort of people hear our house music output, which is quite sort of French electro influenced, basically. You know, we've been writing a long time and never released an album, so for us it's kind of really, really important. It's the debut album, so we're just kind of making sure it's everything's like perfect, basically. This is Audio Wax Underground Music, and you're watching IC3. As soon as we got in, the vibe is. is very good, and it's Sunday. It's like crazy, like it's going off, man. Good, good tunes, good set, good vibe. Nice people, happy, brilliant, and it sounds nice. You know, the, the sound sounds, you know, fresh. It sounds nice. Well, I got into MCing through. I was actually wanted to be a DJ first, so we used to practice at my friend's house, have a laugh, and everything. And like as a kid, me and my brother used to like muck around rap and stuff. And then one time, my mate was just like, look pick up the headphone and just muck, muck about. So we used to pretend we was a radio station and just, just do, you know, what I was doing. But I did actually want to be a DJ first and then it just gradually just came. It's, it's a hobby. When I first started, I was way shy with that sort of thing. That took some time. I would never have done, would never thought of doing anything like that years ago. Ooh, nah, nah. Some people would be like, oh, you've been around for ages, but I still think as an MC, you still, you're learning like every single minute. You, learning it. I don't think there's a time you can go, I've learned everything. I still think you're learning because that DJ you may work with for years is going to play new stuff. He might change his style or something, you know, so you're still going to learn. Do you know what I mean? Working with your hypes and the Swifts, they they play, if you listen to the sets recently, they play a bit of everything. So for you, it's nice. You know, like it. Feeling my, I'm feeling uh, as I've got older, I've got uh, liquid is growing a bit on me as well. I thought I'd do it different this year with a birthday. A lot of people have bashes and that. Mine's more of a party, like party cake, fancy dress, like I said, and 
uh, kind of let the hair down. It's, we're the artists that let their hair down. I remember what, two years ago, that Skibbity, Fat Man D, all doing break dancing and that, an after party competition, dance off, like, you won't, be, you won't get that at raves, you know, so, something different. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Yeah? Uh -huh. So for me, I'd like to say thank you very much. You are, thank you. <laughs> this is IC3. Go to underground-music.co.uk. Peace, man. Good evening. This is Example and Lomax, a.k.a. Lodestar. Tonight was a sick night, man. Like, seriously, we played for an hour, but... We wanted to play for like three hours, man. It was so sick in there, man. I was wicked. Southampton, like this club in particular, like I played in Southampton a few times, but this club is like seriously, it's quite a small, compact kind of club. And like, um, there's a really good vibe. People just want to dance all night, man. And that's what we're all about. It was a lot of fun. Seriously, like we wanted to play like three times as long. I want to go back on the decks right now. That was fucking going off in there, yeah, man. Right, man. Seriously. <laughs> Big. Yeah, it's not a lot of nights that you can come down on a Sunday night and it's going off like that. So, yeah, shouts to uh, you guys for putting it on. Big. Big. We're 100% Ram Records at the moment. We've got an album dropping next year, like April, kind of May time. Yeah. It's going to be big. We've got we got the next single coming up um, after Link to the Past, and that's looking to be like a huge release. So get ready for that, man. Yeah. I I'd say like the album is probably like half drum and bass. Like the other half is probably like kind of down tempo. We got some dubstep on there. We got some electro. Um, we've got some completely different stuff as well. But it's very musical. We got a lot of vocal stuff on there. Um, we're really excited, yeah. like, you know, it's, we think it's going to be big, man, I'm looking forward to it. Link to the Past was, was a big release for us, definitely, like, um, it kind of had the slightly sort of crossover vibe, but I think that the key to that tune was like, you know, whether you're into your jump up or you're into your liquid stuff, like, that tune was like the sort of, um, the crossover tune that everyone's kind of into, so... Um, yeah, that was a big trap for us. That like Andy obviously made that into an anthem. Um, that's just come out this week, 1st of October. So if you haven't got it, you need to get that. That's a big tune, seriously. Like you say, we've, we've come from solo careers um, previously, but over the past sort of two years, we, we've been focusing on, on working together. Um, just due to the fact that we find the output is a lot more interesting, combining our sort of signature sounds um, and with us both, both being on the same label it just made sense to sort of focus on that and, and work towards an album project which yeah we're currently finishing off at the moment so it's looking good. Coming up over the next sort of six months we're focusing on pushing the low star name. Um, you can catch us doing an autumn tour with our vocalist IK and MC uh, Texas so we'll be out on the road from sort of October through to December um, and then hopefully releasing the next single from the album um, in January with a view to get it out, uh, the album out in April, so yeah. Audio in Southampton has been a really good night for us, like we've, we've had quite a busy weekend with the Ram night and stuff, but um, tonight was really good fun, like seriously, I want to come back here very soon. Um, thank you very much, we'll see you next time, we're looking forward to it. This is Example of Max, we're signing out, we'll see you next time. Yes.